Welcome to Maze Code Challenge. Today's problem is remove k digits. Given a non-negative integer num represented as a string, remove k digits from the number so that the new number is the smallest possible. Say that we're given the number uh, here 1432219 and a k of 3. We want to remove the digits 432 because 1219 is going to be the smallest possible. Um, similarly with 10200, we want to remove one because that's going to get rid of the leading zero there and our number is going to be 200. So I've seen a question like this before and from what I remember if you want to minimize numbers like this you want the lowest numbers on the left side and the highest numbers on the right side. Basically you want this number sorted. Like say you're just given a bunch of garbled numbers. Uh, if you want to minimize that the best way to do that is just sort everything have all the zeros on the left side and then like one, two, three, four, five, that's gonna be the minimum number possible. Um, but here, we can't just sort everything. We have, we have only the constraint of a few numbers that we could pop off and uh, we need to, um, this, the order still needs to be kept, right? So in order to do a question like that, usually you would need to use stack. So immediately I knew this was a stack question. Um, Let's first start coding. First I initialized some variables and index number to keep track as well as n, which is gonna be the length of the, num the string, string number. And let's initialize the stack. Oops. All right, so how do we solve this? All right, so say that we had like a number 17942, and what we wanna do is iterate down this list and basically try to keep this incremental pattern as much as possible. As we're building the stack, if we see that um, that pattern breaks, what we're going to do is see what now we're going to add four. It turns out that four is smaller than nine. So we'll pop off this last number because clearly 174 is small, smaller than 179, right? And we'll continue that. Uh, until we find that this condition doesn't hold anymore. So it turns out, oh, seven is greater than four. So yeah, 14 is smaller than 17. Just keep popping off here. This wouldn't be the case. We don't want to keep four because one is greater than four. Oh, I'm sorry, four is greater than one. And we'll do that as much as we can um, until we run out of Ks. You might ask, well, what about this two? Like, isn't two smaller than four? Shouldn't we keep two? Wouldn't two um, have been better to keep here. But the problem is we're not going to be able to get rid of everything that we can, right? Because we have a limited number of Ks. So if we did say, oh, we'll keep uh, two instead and four, it's going to be, it'll end up being something like, I don't know, like, like this. And that turns out to be bigger than one for two. So we want to be able to keep this incremental pattern as much as possible on the left side. Okay. So what we're going to do is uh, move down our our characters in the string, and we'll check. Okay, while oh while there's a stack, all right, because if there's no stack, we can't uh, do this check. And while k uh, we have k's, we have numbers that we could pop off, and the last number in the stack turns out to be greater than <clears throat> the number we're checking right now. And I believe I'm going to have to convert this into an int because these are strings at the moment. There we go. So while this happens, okay, we're going to, what, just pop off the number um, and pop it off and we'll decrease K. And then once we're finished with that, then we'll append. Then we'll say, okay, add it to the stack, our current number that we're checking. Oops, like this. Uh, what else? And then just increment our number. You could do this in a for loop as well. Uh, I just I just did this. Um, oops, because just because. Um, all right. So is that it? Let me think. Once we finish this, we could return. Um, so what we'll do is since this is a string or list of string list of character strings we're going to have to do a join 
of the stack, right? Um, we'll also need to get rid of leading zeros. And you can do an else strip, but screw it. I'm just going to convert it into an int and then reconvert it into a string. So let me make sure this works. Oh, there's one use case I forgot. Um, it is possible that uh, k is, if k is what, greater or equal to n, like we can pop off as many numbers as there are characters, well then we can just return, you know, zero, because yeah, we can just pop off everything. So, so there might have been something I'm forgetting here, but let, let me see if, yeah, blah, blah, it takes a while. Okay, so let me submit that and see if that works. Yeah, right, so what happened here? Pop. Um, okay, so I kind of remember, right. So one of the things that could happen is all our conditions can hold, it could be incrementing, but we can still have some case to pop off. So if, if that happens, the best thing to do is just get rid of the ones on the right. So basically it's like while k is greater than zero, we'll just pop off from the stack and we'll subtract k. So that way we can get rid of this two here. Um, submit that. And there. Yeah, so this isn't an easy question. It took me a while to finally get a hang of it. But basically when you're minimizing numbers like this, just remember it's best if the number increments, it's like sorted and figure out uh, a way to do that. Like whether it's swapping the numbers or whether you have to use a stack because you'll probably see this question um, here and there. Thank you.